Sigma's Fortress, Sigma's Fortress. How far have we come? I like that it's sunset at this part. It actually kind of accurately captures the feeling of the game. This is like... It's like you've beaten the eight robots, finally. You've grown up a little bit, you know? Sun is beginning to set on that part of your life, and... Past Sigma's Fortress, there's a new life of being better at destroying robots. Freaking turtles. Protect the turtles, they say. Protect the tortoises. Look what the tortoises are doing to us in the future. Okay. So this is very useful for killing some of the things that are going to come at me while I'm on here. Such as that. And that. Uh, I don't think there's a third. Oh, and they knocked me down. I hate these guys. It's not that challenging, though. Although, I gotta say, first time trying to play this as a little kid, holy crap. Not fair. Oh, I keep forgetting about this guy. Alright. Next time, I'm gonna preemptively fire one. And I still got hit by him. Oh well. I'm getting close. It's alright. My trouble is nearly at an end. Whew. Man, that was close. I almost just got myself killed. Okay, that's enough of that. Gonna beat this in X mode. Climb up here, past the weird egg walker things. And there's Boba Fett! Zero's cornered Boba Fett! Quick, into the Sarlacc pit! And they run in. Man, Zero, don't go in without reinforcements. Always go in for backup. Oh. He's a loose cannon cop on the edge. And I'm gonna have to rescue his sorry ass. So, what's your weakness, bra? Oh. Hmm. Well, there's the Death Walker. Uh, I don't think that has any weaknesses. And Boba Fett is just talking about how amazing his little mech is. And... And unfortunately, I think this is another one of those fights that you're supposed to lose. Looks bad for oh oh wow zero's gonna save me it was looking bad for me for a second there but and he's gonna save me by blowing himself up wow that's 
nice, I guess? I don't understand why he didn't just shoot him. I mean, that armor, the, the armored carrier is pretty cool, but his head is still completely exposed. You could have just shot him in the back of the head. Or not, you could just blow yourself up too. Whatever. Oh, Zero. The more I play this game, the more I realize how just unintelligent you are. I don't need you. Maybe you're maybe you're supposed to just teach me the lesson that you just think Zero is really good at first, and he ends up sucking. So you're not as hard on yourself. I don't, I don't know. There's this immoral in this. All right, what's your weakness, bro? That's not it. I believe his weakness is the rolling shield. Wow, that Boba Fett gun's powerful. And so is his Boba Fett rocket dash. But I am ever more so. Because I am Mega Man X! And I have more health than you can possibly ever defeat. <laughs> Look how through sheer attrition I have killed you. Attrition, I was gonna say attribution. Sheer attrition, there we go. Boom! And he goes down. That's what happens. That is what happens. Do not mess with me. I will screw you up. And then I'll go weep, my friend. Yeah, you did take a lot of damage by blowing yourself up. Well, this is the end of Zero. And this is the event that makes him die so that he can be brought back to life in X2. Did he just disintegrate? Well, that's strange. That'd make it rather hard to find all of his parts. But I'm sure there's some explanation somewhere. I springboarded off of that one. Alright, so this is one of those parts where I'm actually going to end up using the boss weapons. Kill this guy. Yeah, that's right. Swing slowly over my head while I prepare a devastating vertical. And that guy delayed me a little. Oh my god. Getting above you. There we are. Oh, and there's health in the wall. I've heard of the walls having ears, but never health. You know, I can just ignore that cannon. It's honestly pretty irrelevant. And that guy is pretty irrelevant. That little thing, however, is not. Not really too challenging, just kind of annoying. That little stupid thing that comes down. You can't really dodge it. Ooh, a reprisal of the bosses. Just like in every single Mega Man game. I do not for the life of me understand this. This is the least logical part of this game. I can take rebel robots that want to enslave humanity. I can even have them be animals. But if you can just bring them back to life, why am I even killing them? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Why can Sigma bring his robots back to life? Is he... is he... is he Robot Jesus? Am I actually trying to kill Robot Jesus? <sighs> Too many questions. What was I doing? Oh yes, yes, that's right. Boss fight. Got carried away by the mystery. This is a mystery we've already solved. What's stronger, a rocket or a samurai? 
Should try making a rocket samurai one day. It's like in Tokyo Gore Police. If anyone hears this and decides, oh, let me check out Tokyo Gore Police, don't. It's my only advice to you. Never, ever watch that movie. You, you, there, there's not enough soap in the world to make you feel clean after you watch that film. That's all I can say. And I'm going to move on. This robot's dead. And I'm sure there's going to be one or two more. Sad Sigma Space. I would think that I could just start blowing this machinery up. I don't really understand why I'm even bothering to kill Sigma. I mean, if I could just go and blow, like, the main reactor or something, why not do that instead? But I guess it doesn't make for a climactic final boss fight. So that's why. Laughing at me? Worth it for the health. Rockets everywhere. Okay, I don't think I need rockets to fight this. Oh, there's actually that's the only guy I have to fight again, I guess, in this place. It's the only like reprise boss. I'm gonna fight a giant robot spider now. Doesn't that sound fun? Yeah, what it does is it forms a web um, by making horizontal connections between those weird vertical pylons, and it just goes down a preset path and tries to hit you. And it's only vulnerable on the ground. I hate its little baby robots. Really getting in the way. And the thing is, they're really. It, it soaks up my shots to kill those things I'm using this weapon. Hell, he doesn't really give too much of a visual indication. Okay, I think I can beat him through attrition too. Like all bosses in this game. He's got a lot of health though. And now he has slightly less. you a black widow because you're so ugly no one want to marry you afterward wait that doesn't make sense take that back never mind you're a brand recluse because all you do is sit inside all day by yourself ha there we go there's a good spider joke also you're dead boom that is a very explosive spider i've killed a lot of spiders in my life and i've never had that happen to one of them And there's my little victory music, and first stage cleared. And that's the first part of Sigma's Fortress. I don't know, I'm kind of eh on this level. Just not really, never really a big fan. I just kind of want to get it over with. Okay, so, uh, join me in my next video for level 2 of Sigma's Fortress. A little bit more impressive.